Hi guys and welcome back. I hope you are all doing well. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're newly subscribed, welcome to the family. Um, today I just thought I would do something different. A lot of people that know me and watch my videos say that I make cooking look so easy. However, you need to keep in mind that I'm showing you <laughs> the parts where I'm just cooking. You don't get to see the pregame show where I'm prepping everything. Um, so it might look easier than it really is. For me, of course, I've been cooking for so long, I find it easy because I know what I'm doing. Um, but if you're one that doesn't like to cook or you don't know how to cook, you might find it intimidating. So I'm gonna share a few tips with you today that might help make that easier for you um, or give you a little bit of encouragement to help you start to cook, whatever the case may be. So let's get right into it. If you haven't subscribed and you feel like joining the family, you can do so by hitting that red button. Don't forget to click the bell so that you get notifications when I upload. My tips are all going to be centered around organization. So um, this is also for people who work Monday through Friday and I'm assuming that you have the weekend off. Tip number one would be to organize your thoughts. So you want to think about what you might wanna eat for the week so that you can create your shopping list. Um, you may wanna create for yourself a meal schedule. I personally do not create meal schedules for myself because <laughs> I can be spontaneous with my cooking. Um, but for you, if you're new to cooking, you may want to create a meal schedule for the week to help get you organized. So organize your thoughts, your shopping list, your meal schedule, uh, whatever the case may be. And you want to go out and get all the ingredients that you need for the week. Okay, so now that you've organized your thoughts, you have your meal schedule, you have your shopping list, you've gone shopping, the next thing you want to do is to organize your ingredients. So you're back home with all of your stuff that you purchased, you know what meals you wanna make for the week, so you wanna to start to chop, slice, cut, dice, whatever it is you're gonna be doing with your ingredients, and then start to bag them, put them in bowls, or whatever the case may be. So tip number two is to organize your ingredients. Next tip will be to organize your workspace. I hate working in a clutter, cluttered or a dirty kitchen. So keep your sinks clean, get all your dishes out, Keep your counters clean and as clutter-free as possible. There's nothing you want less than to be washing chicken on top of your dishes in the sink. Well, I for one don't like to do that. So I always try to keep my kitchen as clean as possible just so that when I get in there, get in that space to start cooking, I don't start like <laughs> And you want to organize your utensils. So Get your pots out that you're going to be using, your blender if you're gonna be using it, your knives, your chopping boards, bowls. Um, and with that, I will suggest that you have a trash bowl when you're prepping your ingredients. Um, it just really does something. It helps make keep you sane. Like you don't wanna be running back and forth uh, to the trash can. If you can just toss everything into a bowl and then take the bowl and toss the stuff into the trash can, it will really just make a difference in your cooking, believe it or not. <laughs> so keep your utensils organized and ready to go. And since you've already prepped all of your ingredients, at this point, you're where I am when I start filming for you guys. So I just thought I would share those with you. I hope somebody finds them helpful and useful. If you do, don't forget to give a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. No, no, nope, messed that up. <laughs> We're gonna try that one again. <laughs> Next tip will be to keep your workspace organized. <laughs>